Hello everybody, it is Jolene and Kyle right now. We are starting with questions for Kyle. Questions for Kyle. Our second video here, we're going to be consistent every Thursday. So keep on asking us questions. We're going to be more than happy to answer. Absolutely. Thanks Jolene for the opportunity as oh usual. My it's my pleasure. <laughs> We are going to start with our first question today, which is how and when did you purchase your first home in Rocky Point? For, we purchased our first uh, property at Las Palomas. I, we purchased it with my brother-in-law, my sister, okay. and my wife. So we're all on the deed uh, as one. Right. At that time, we could get a mortgage at the time, a traditional loan. Uh, which you can't get now through a traditional lender in the United States. The interest rate, get this, is nine and a half percent. Nine and a half? Oh, we'll put uh, yes. that in there. Uh, now, at the time, the developers were offering 12 percent. Oh. So we got a little bit of a, a, a rate reduction. Nice. But we were able to get it. I don't mean, uh, mind paying the interest because our family uses it so much. So um, we bought it in 2007. We didn't look around. When I worked, walked into the phase one lobby over at Las Palomas, uh, it was beautiful. You see the beach right there. You say, oh, word. Your dream home. Uh, your dream home. Uh, Rocky Point's only three and a half hours away. Did you start off with a low budget when purchasing in Pinasco? I think you already answered no, this question. No, no, we did not. <laughs> <laughs> We bought at the top of the market okay. uh, in 2007, just before the market dropped. Oof. So I, we paid top dollar for it. Okay. Um, were there inklings that the market may uh, go into a recession? Yes, I was a financial advisor at the time. The uh, market dropped about two months after we obtained our deed. And uh, it went from, I think we purchased it for 345 at the low point in the market, you could have picked it up for 124. Oh this is the same, the same model. That is a yeah. huge difference. A lot, a lot of people, a lot of people just walked on their property. A lot of people got lucky, is what I'm thinking. Yes, mm -hmm. but those that bought at the top, like myself, no, no you weren't lucky. No, I was not lucky. <laughs> but this gets into which our uh, objective is: is a short-term or a long-term investment plan, and ours was for family. And so we just stuck with it. And now the, the condo is worth 500000 So that no, I, I, good investment. I did not start off with a low budget. Oh, okay. <laughs> and you know, maybe for people who do have a low budget like me, what would you recommend <laughs> myself to do? Yeah, well, save, save up money. enough for a, a down payment for a seller carry back. Go for the lowest uh, condo or house on the beach. Mm -hmm. You can pick up something in the mirror door for about 150,000 uh, oh with goodness, a with a seller carry back at about 30% and they're very good rentals. I know I look young but I'm very You're very, very savvy. motivated. You're very to motivated. Start young I know you bought your own car. I mean it's something. You start somewhere, right? Okay, we'll go with the second question, Kyle. Actually, no, third. Third. When did you start thinking about investing in a rental property? Not until my wife pushed me into it. Oh, that's definitely we right did here. not buy we did not buy the condo at Las Palomas to be in the rental pool. That okay. wasn't our intention. She wanted to get into the rental business. Uh, she had stayed at condo at Pinacante. She loved it. Uh, she wanted to refurbish the condo, put in new tile, redo the kitchen. She was really excited oh, about yes. that. I said, "All right, you know, I'll lend you the money and see what happens." And uh, she put it in the rental pool, and we've been very successful for it. Well, I, I, I Stephanie. That was about eight years ago. And was that a good decision? Uh, yeah, it's been a good decision, <laughs> but I'm letting her handle the rentals. I think you guys make a good team then. We do. What could you recommend to a first-time home buyer? It depends. Not a lot of people have uh, for a first-time home buyer have the uh, equity that they need to purchase you know, all out cash. So your only other option is to get a loan uh, from or, or gift from your parents uh, if you're doing a traditional loan or you could do a seller carry back uh, where they may ask for 30% down. So on a $100,000 property, 
30% down, you're looking, you know, at about $30,000 as a down payment. Mom, can I have $30,000 <laughs> for my down payment? It said it's a family gift. It's normal, Calvin. Yes. So. <laughs> Just as long as you get a letter that it's a family and gift. And I've been a very nice daughter. Yeah, so. In the States. <laughs> <laughs> Sandy would be a terrific person to talk to about a building uh, your own home with your own money. Sandy built uh, about a 3,000 3, square foot house on the outskirts of town with everything that she's made here at Playa Sonora Realty. That's amazing. So uh, hands out to her. It, took, it was a two year process, but she handled everything. Everything from zero, from dirt. dirt. We're gonna have to have her next week then. Dirt to, to, to moving in. Yeah, you definitely have to talk to her about that. Don't be afraid to take out a, a short term loan. Be aware that you are gonna have to budget for those monthly payments. So mm -hmm. don't be afraid to take, take out financing. Okay. There's no problem using other people's money. That's Cal's that's, words that, right there. That's my mantra. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next question. You work in an industry where you yeah. don't know what your salary is going to look like. It's unstable. Sometimes it's really good and sometimes it can be really hard. You as a broker agent, how can you define your monthly payments without knowing the income you may yes, have? Yes, we have... Uh, some months may be extremely busy and extremely productive and there are other months where there's nothing coming in and you're like, oh my word, you know, when, when am I going to get my next, next commission? You, you got to be diversified. There's one thing you got to do. You got to plan, sock some money away into savings, marketing, create a budget at the beginning of the year or the end of the previous year for the next year, making your phone calls. That means following up on your leads. Consistency. Consistency. You have to do it every day. That's one of the reasons why Jolene is trying to be consistent and pushing me and doing these videos, uh, informational videos, to be consistent. Yes, and we are going to be consistent. And we are going to be consistent. It is a cyclical nature. I've always been in sales. You have to learn how to budget your time. It can be, uh, it can be scary, but don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to take the risk. I'm so glad to have you like as a guest. I'm actually your guest, by the way. <laughs> I know, and, and, and you're also- It's you're, free information, Well, it's guys. free information, she's learning it. <laughs> and here year. is Sandy. Oh, come come on, here, Sandy. Sandy. <laughs> this, is, this is my business partner, Sandy. More We're questions. still adding more questions, so the more you guys ask, the more we'll answer. So please, guys, anything you need, it's free information. Questions for Kyle. You got have it. Have a good night. Bye. Bye.